Hallo, hallo, meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer Folge zu Zenobay Chronicles 3. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Oh, ja, moin Leute und herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Part von Zenobay Chronicles 3. Ja, beim letzten Mal haben wir Juwelen erforscht und auch das Kochen gelernt. Da sind die Megaviecher der Vernichtung. Ja, wir können jetzt Juwelen schmieden. Wir haben letztes Mal auch schon welche ausgerüstet bei allen Charakteren. Und wir können auch neue Talente, wie es scheint, ausrüsten, aber wir haben keine Talente. Story of my life. Naja. Jedenfalls, jetzt sollten alle mehr im Kampf bringen. Beziehungsweise die Gegner sollten leichter zu besiegen sein. So die Theorie. Jetzt habe ich noch mehr Grund, alles mitzunehmen, was mir über die äh, äh, Augen läuft. Ja, das Zeug läuft mir über die Augen. Der Mio mag die Hitze ja nicht. Ja, mittlerweile ja auch ein gutes Level für die Ebene hier. Nur für die Viecher nicht. Die würden mich one-hitten. Oh, da kommt die Angriffsbrigade. Ich gucke, dass ich ab sofort auch eine Ostkin versuche, so in den vorherigen Gebieten alles für die Juwelen immer zusammenzusammeln. Falls äh, es nötig ist. Weil ich will dafür nicht extra in einem Video zurückreisen. Also es wird noch vorkommen, dass wir irgendwann in die äh, früheren Gebiete nochmal zurückreisen, da die Minibosse bekämpfen, dass wir da eventuell noch ein paar Nebenquests bekommen. Und komm, damit ihr einen Kampf habt. Warum muss ich eigentlich das immer andrücken? Warum können die es sich nicht einfach mal merken? Das Schöne ist, wir können jetzt zwei Fusionstechniken mal einsetzen. Schön, dass die Schlange mich nicht will. Aber ihr Brutende bzw. Schwester, die wollt mich. Komische Viecher. Hey, can I ask you something? Hm? It's special, isn't it? Your blade, I mean. Um. Sometimes one part of it glows. Why is that? Oh, you can tell. That's amazing. It's hard not to. Oh, right. Is it a secret? No, I can tell you.
Noah, my man. He still playing around with that little toy. Have you considered a knock-on weapon? You might actually get somewhere with that. Oi! You deaf or what, Noah? Garvel? Noah, this is bad. <laughs> Not even a peep. Don't need to pay us any attention. Oh, please. I wasn't ignoring you. Once I finish this set, we can chat. <gasps> well, what were you saying? Noah! For dead weight, you're a right snuffing peacock! You... you slippery little mudder! Well, anything else? You... snuffing weakling! Blast it all! Oh, you... get it now! Lance! Break it up now. Didn't know you'd be so petty, Garvel. <laughs> Ain't got no time for this, musclehead. Wanna say that again? Hmm. We'll settle this properly in tomorrow's trial. Move it! <laughs> Noah, are you okay? Don't let it get to you. Guys like that are the first ones to snuff it in a real battle. No, I'm not worried about him. I really can't call my weapon, though. I worry I'll end up being a burden. Never thought that here, not even once. Thanks. Kind of you to say. It's just the truth. Where are you going? To visit Riku, since it broke. The trial, it's tomorrow. I'm gonna need a new weapon for that. What's this? Magic sword, lucky seven. In distant past were seven legendary swordsmith pawn. Over course of seven years, forged sword from seven types of steel. No other sword like it in existing. Magic? Lucky seven? Let's please to give good cleave with blade and split clean and halves. Sure about that. Better not pull some you break it, you bought it. Sneaky sort of deal. Riku would never dream. Just put all of heft into mighty swing. Weird ask. Uh, sure. You want me to cut it? I'll cut it, I guess. Here it comes! Queen's beans! There's not even a nick in it! Friends surprised? Indeed, it's most prized of swords. Even armor of Ferranis gets sliced to itsy bits. I think... I'll pass. Pass? So you not have need for? Yeah, it's too strong. Hmm... Noah want Lance and friends to kick buckets? No, what the spark? Same as letting friends die. No, it's not. If friends not fight, cannot survive. Sure, but I don't need to use your sword. Then, why Noah not call Blade? It's not our choice, I just can't. False. Riku see through like transparent. <sighs> Noah can call Blade. Just no big desire of fighting spirit. Riku? Hey, is he serious? <sighs> Noah? What the? All this time? Huh?
if death is not option, should live. Only way is fight like life depends. Thinking of self alone is way of coward. Though, Rico no feeling well. I'm afraid. Of fighting, you mean? Of this world. It's so brutal and relentless. And I'm afraid of what we might become. Mate. Ho oh, ho ho! Riku knew Noah was hero material. Huh? It true this sword possess incredible power. Might even rob enemies of many much lives, yes. But only those who understand nature of terror have right to wield. Eh, quoth Master Pon of Riku, anyhaps. Hmm. So, if Noah can call Blade now, can still keep Lucky Seven, maybe in some kind of disguise. In different words, can turn it into sheath. Sheath? Can use it in fights like normal. But if ever push come to shove, time will come when Noah truly need Lucky Seven's strength. Then is only matter of drawing. When I truly need its strength. Exact. If no one never lose sight of that feeling, one day such time surely come. That is, if I can master it. If felt to master, just give back. Can pick out different one. Ah, uh, right. Please not to feel specially indebted to Riku. Just take. No need for overthinkings. <laughs> okay. I accept your offer. Oh, and Riku? What is? Mind if I change the name? Me? Lucky Seven just isn't doing it for me. What name did you end up picking? Huh? Um, name. Uh-huh. You don't want to say? Or what? Is it that embarrassing? N no it's not embarrassing. That's not it. <laughs> I'm getting strong emotional vibes here. I wouldn't say emotional, per se. Rather... Something I miss. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're the second one that's noticed this weapon. Really? Is that something special? It is. And the first? Who was it? She's incredible. And we owe her our lives. Oh, wieder mal eine richtig lange Filmsequenz. Immer diese äh, scheiß Schläger von der Schule. <lacht> Immer diese Mobber. Der hätte ihn einfach in den Hintern treten sollen, ganz ehrlich. Da ist eine Kiste. Eine saftige, leckere Kiste. Ach nee, ist keine Kiste, ist eine Leiter. Entschuldigung, ich vergaß. Of Warum halte ich das immer für Kisten? Das ist schon das dritte Mal, dass das passiert. Das Igos Ödland haben wir aber schnell hinter uns gelassen. Und die Ebene da hinten sieht richtig schön aus. Be sketchy. Yeah, agreed. What friends afraid of? Hmm? I'm seeing signs of patrols. Was it Colony 4? Colony 4. Colony of Bad Butt Elites. 
led by a commander of great repute. Whole rest of Kevis acknowledge their superiority. Are you certain? This is Neil Valley. Right. Like Riku said. But how can this be? How can their zone of control extend this far out? Huh? Anyone feel that? <gasps> A quake? Hmm. No, it's... Over there! Nope. Monsters. Noah, look. That's Ethel. You said Ethel. You mean Silver Code Ethel. You know about her. Even in Agnes, the name has spread far and wide. Silver Code Ethel. A veteran soldier unmatched in strength. People would whisper about how she fell three colonies at once with just a hundred troops. Yeah, but. This is Ethel. We know her name. So? So, she helped us out once before. She was strong, but kind. She could still help. Noah? It might not work, but... Noah! It's all right. Sorry. I thought I could convince her. Shit, man, it wouldn't work. Taking cover. Bad move. Very well done, Ethel. I do so love your loyalty. Now, the enemy is before you. Chase them to the ends of the world. Not a single one of them can escape. So much to see, huh? Okay. Langsam verstehe ich, warum die es auf uns abgesehen haben. Für sie sehen wir halt komplett anders aus, als wir eigentlich sind. Das ist so eine Art Gedankenmanipulation, die hier vonstatten geht. Um Gottes Willen. Ach, euch kriege ich locker platt. Kommt her.
Tschüss. Mit dem großen Ding will ich mich übrigens nicht anlegen. Können Sie bitte nicht mich anvisieren? Danke. Komm, die ich mache ich platt, du dämische Maschine. Jo, draufhauen. Ach so, da sind noch mehr. Ja, gar nicht aufgefallen. Ihr habt ja mal so gar keine Präsenz. Nee, nee, nee. Wenn auf den da. Machen wir erstmal das Maschinchen kaputt. Ich finde, das gehört eher auf dem Schrottplatz. Naja, wenigstens kann ich mittlerweile die Zeit einstellen. Weg. Ja, just keep them coming. No problem. Look out! Risky business. Doesn't help that their cannons are way too accurate. They shouldn't be able to see us from over there. How they know location of Manana and friends? The Iris. There? Her red Iris is doing this. It's relaying our exact position to her troops. Snuff this! Lads, six o'clock! Spark! Again! The soldiers! Their whole squad! Those heartless mudders! Guys, pull back to the cave. What cave? We're sitting bunnets out here. In there we can take cover from the volleys. And after that? Think about that later. No plan B. I didn't have time. You can't run from me, Brett. I've got my eye on you. Okay. Dieser schwarze Nebel ist mir auch schon bei vorherigen Gebiet einmal aufgefallen. Den gab es in einer Höhle. Ja, Leute. Ich würde aber sagen, hier beenden wir das für heute. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, Abo und ein Like da lassen und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Tschüss!